Welcome to the tutorial about the configuration of the safety functions. In today's video we are going to take a closer look at the configuration of the safety functions safely limited position and safe cam. These safety functions are used for the safe monitoring of positions. Therefore the range between an upper and lower limit is safely monitored. In this context we start in the hardware configuration of the FlexiSoft designer. There, I have already placed the FlexiSoft system with the CPU3, an XTIO module and the motion control module Mach 1 with the DFAS safety encoder. So let's go to the Mach 1 logic editor. The two safety functions safely limited position and safe cam are realized in the function block position monitor. Let's have a look at the relevant in and outputs first. The input motion in expects an absolute position. This data comes from another function block like the position cross-check or position by reference. The output position status ID indicates the current position range depending on the absolute position. Position cam can be configured for each position range for implementing electronic cams. Let's take a look at the graphic which helps to explain the safety function's safely limited position. Here you can see the movement of the drive. The valid position range in which the drive is allowed to move is painted in green. The invalid position range outside the limits is shown in red. The motion control module Mach 1 is used to monitor the movement of the drive safely. If the permitted range is excited, that means the drive is exceeding the limits and moves in the red area, a safe reaction is generated. This signal can be sent to a safety controller to react to this situation accordingly. Typical applications of the function's safely limited position are indoor cranes where heavy loads have to be moved synchronously, AGVs where protective fields can be switched in dependence of steering angle, rack feeders to avoid hydraulic buffers, and robots where the position is safely monitored during material feeding from two areas. Let's turn over to the configuration menu to configure the function's safely limited position. First, you have to apply the values which you have to find in the previous function block. For the settings of the absolute position range, the periodic position window can be activated. This function can be used for applications where the mechanical position is a periodic position like a mechanical press. There, the beginning and end of the position range adjoin each other. That means the mechanical position repeats every 360 degrees. On the horizontal, there is the encoder information. There, you have the possibility to configure the origin as well as the length of the periodic position. In case of a mechanical press, the length of the periodic position is 360 degrees. As you can see, after passing the configured length, the car always is at the defined origin. For the function safely limited position, the tab position ranges is relevant. In the next step, I will demonstrate how to configure these ranges. There, you can type your desired position ranges. By clicking the plus button, the defined position range is saved. In this way, up to 62 position ranges can be configured. Depending on the area in which the drive is located, the associated position status ID is produced at the output position status ID. Now, you can see three different position ranges. When the absolute position at the input motion in is between 0 and less than or equal to 90 degrees, then the position status ID 1 is produced. If the absolute position is greater than 90 and less than or equal to 180 degrees, then the position status ID 2 is generated. And if the absolute position is greater than 180 degrees, then the position status ID 3 is generated. In the next tab, Speed Position Profile, you have the possibility to configure profile. In dependence of the current position, different speeds or directions can be allowed. In the matrix, you can see on the horizontal the previously defined position ranges and on the vertical the defined speed ranges. Now, you can select the maximum permissible speed range for each position range. The permissible speed ranges are shown in green. By clicking on the desired fields, you can configure the speed position profiles. 
In this case, in position range 1 and 2, it is allowed to move in every speed range. In position range 3, 4 and 5, it is just allowed to move in speed range 1 and 2, because speed range 3 is deactivated. To explain how to configure electronic cams, we have to take a look at the general explanation of the safety function SafeCam. This function realizes a safe monitoring of the maximum and minimal position. If the drive is within the limits, then the safety function generates a valid bit of 1. But if the limits are exceeded, an invalid bit of 0 is generated. To realize the safety function safe cam, the output position cam can be defined individually for each position range in each speed position profile. This output can be used to implement electronic cams. In the configuration menu, you can now activate or deactivate the field for each position range by clicking. Activated fields are shown in green. If a machine enters a position range, which is activated, then the position cam output switches to 1. If a machine enters a position range, for which the field is deactivated, then the output position cam switches to 0. By moving the slider, you have the possibility to activate or deactivate directions. In these fields, where the slider is green, it is allowed to move in both directions. There, it is just allowed to move in one direction. Therefore, a red arrow is shown. The position monitor function block has no motion output. If the drive is now moving in a forbidden area or direction, then an error reaction is generated and the output position monitor status is going low. This output can be connected, for example, to a safe stop function block. That's it so far for the tutorial about the safety functions safely limited position and safe cam. Now you've got to know the functionalities and how to configure these safety functions in the FlexiSoft Designer.